Michelle Jordan gonna be back next season. You know he's just chilling, right? Well, I wish he was still playing. You know, Pippen's gonna be there today, and BJ, but Air's the one. And if you don't come back, there's more room for me. The Link starter five. All pro, all star. Link, all you ever be is almost. I mean, you can hit the money, but you pass like a chump. Man, chump this, man. <laughs> man, that ain't funny, man. That's what Michael Jordan was. Hockey game. And Cheryl just sits there like she's watching paint dry. I mean, it was a great game. Double overtime. Cheryl? Yeah, you know, the one from Child and Family Services. Ooh, she is very, very pretty. Wait a minute. You've been going out with her? You didn't tell me you've been going out with her. How long have you been going out with her? Oh, ever since she called to find out if I was really married with six children, like someone told her I was. Who would have told her that? Some jealous lowlife. How did you pass your weekend, Robert? Well, I was supposed to go down to St. Louis and hang out with some friends, but on Friday, my criminal procedure professor decided to announce a big test on Wednesday, so I spent the weekend crawled up with some big, fat law books. How romantic. Would you like to know how I spent my weekend? I went to the Max Ernst show at the Art Institute. You know, the retrospective on Dada. It was really great. Dr. Varga again? Yeah. <laughs> Connie, sounds like it's getting real serious. Well, I had the best weekend of all. Mrs. Manorher and I... Connie. You and Carlos, I want you to roll on this one. Lights and sirens. Carlos isn't coming in. Where is he? He called 10 minutes ago. Said he needed to take care of some personal business. That's all he said? Well, I didn't think it was my place to question him. He is a sergeant. All right, you and Johnny take it. 40 minutes ago, two 11-year-old boys left for school. Joe Keough and Ronnie Lincoln. Never made it. Haven't been seen since. District 38 has a search plan going. Get over there. Ah, uh, remember her? No. She's the public relations guy's wife, Peggy Newton. You interviewed her last week when she reported her missing. Well, I wouldn't recognize her in a crowd of two. She had a towel wrapped around her head and one of those mud things all over her face. Well, but I found him, so what, is he missing again or what? No, seems he got home on the weekend and found she's gone. I can't blame her. The guy's a jerk, I talked to him on the phone. Boy, you're gonna get to talk to him again, jerk or not. He's reported her missing and we gotta follow it up. Thank you, Lieutenant. Are you sure Carlos didn't say anything else? Mm-mm. Listen, I'm sure they're both really good kids, but have Joel or Ronnie ever cut class before? Well, yeah, but there's no way they would have done that today. They had some of the Bulls. You know the basketball the team? The three-time world's champion basketball team. Yeah, I guess. But some of them were coming to the school for an assembly. The boys were really excited. I usually have to wake Joel up two, maybe three times before he gets out of bed. But not today. He was up and dressed when I got to his room. What time was that? He was out of here by 6.45. Went over to Monique's to pick up Ronnie. 
He said he wanted to be first in line, get front row seats. Ronnie ran out so fast he almost forgot his lunch. I had to go running out after him. The bull's coming, the bull's coming. That's all they talked about all weekend. Something's happened to them, I just know it. You don't think uh, maybe because they were in a hurry that they might have tried to get a ride with someone, you know, if they ever do that? And Joel knows better than that. We taught him better than that. Ronnie, too. When I was their age, I ate, drank, and slept basketball. Maybe they stopped off in a park somewhere to play a little one-on-one. -on -one. Except for the playground at school, the only park around here they're not allowed to go to. Kings. Oh, my God. Ronnie took his new basketball with him. He was hoping to get some autographs. If they did go over there, maybe some of them boys... You said they wanted to get front row seats. I'm sure they headed straight for school. Listen, Mrs. Keogh, Mrs. Lincoln, Investigator Kradzik and I have got to get out there and help with the door-to-door. -door. There's my card with my beeper number on it. If you need anything, please call me. In the meantime, you should stay right here in case Joel shows up, okay? And you should probably be at home for Ronnie. I know how worried you both are, but we'll find them. I gotta tell you, if she was going anywhere, she would have taken her jewelry with her. I mean, we'd go away for a weekend someplace. She'd take every piece with her because she could never decide what she might want to wear. So the only things that you know of that are missing are her wedding ring and her everyday watch. Yeah. It's a gold Saint Jean with a small diamond set in the 12th position. You know, I got the idea when I talked to your wife last week and told her that I found you that she was a little upset, sir. She was at first. You know how women are. We sorted through all that. She thought I was lying to her about where I was going. When she thought about it, she realized I did say Springfield, Massachusetts and not Springfield, Illinois. Even left her the name of the hotel. I know what happened, sir. So you called her on Saturday night, there was no answer. You came home yesterday, she wasn't at home. Yeah, I left a message on her machine Saturday night when I called. It's still there, do you want to hear it? No, no thank you. So you called any of her friends or her family? Yeah, I called everybody in her phone book. Nobody has heard from or seen Peggy since Friday. Does she have any history of substance abuse, sir? She drinks a little bit, sometimes a little bit too much, especially when we have an argument, you know? She's doing anything else, I don't know about it. Do you think your disappearance last week might have prompted a little extra drinking? Let's get something straight, officer. I did not disappear. She just got confused. Does she get confused a lot? Is it possible she's out there confused somewhere right now? Look, my wife is not mentally incompetent. You talk to her, you met her. She's not a drug addict, she is not an alcoholic. She was upset last week because she loves me and I love her. She was looking forward to me getting home and I was looking forward to being here with her. If she's not here, it's because something has happened to her. Okay. Okay, Mr. Newton, if we can just sit down, there's a lot more information I need to get from you than I can start looking for. Dan, you beat Carlos, right? Yes, three times. Uh, when you talked to him this morning, he seemed upset? Preoccupied? Well, he seemed like Carlos, very matter of fact, to the point. Lieutenant, I, I'm sure if something was wrong, Carlos is a good friend of yours. He would have told you. Uh, anything from Johnny and Connie? I haven't heard from them, but I understand from District 38 they're trying to reconstruct the route that the boys would have taken to the school. Good. When you hear from them, put them through to my office. Got you. We finished the door to door from here to the school. The school's 12 blocks away, about a 15 minute walk. Mm, what'd you come up with? Oh, uh, Mr. Belson, walking his dog, saw two kids matching that description turning right off of 95th onto Wabansia, about 6.50 a.m. That's their normal route. Anybody spot them on Wabansia? woman at 95.31 says she saw two boys playing with a basketball about that time. 95.31? That's right across from this train yard here. Anybody see him closer to school? Angela Simpkins. She's the crossing guard at Wabansia and Roberts Avenue. Hi. Hello, Miss Simpkins. Hi. Did you see either of these kids this morning? I don't need pictures. I know both those boys, and they did not come by my corner this morning. I was at my post at 7 a.m. <laughs> it was like a traffic jam at O'Hare, but I am sure that neither Ronnie or Joel came by. I've never seen my kid so anxious to get to school. <laughs> you know, now that he's available, the Board of Ed ought to hire that Michael Jordan. That's all we've got so far. We're going to start widening the search. Hold on a minute. Here's 95th and Wabansia. Here's the school. This train yard here is right in the middle between them. These kids are in a hurry across the train yard. It's the shortest line between two points. Kids ever cut through there? Uh, they're not supposed to. It's strictly forbidden. But you know how kids are. Right. OK. And the $5,000 limit credit card? When was the last time it was used? OK. All right, thanks a lot, man. Get back to me when you get the rest of the information. So, what's with Mrs. Newton? 
No credit card or bank account activity for the last 11 days. Not on any victim's list, not registered at any hospital, and doesn't match any Jane Doe's that are. We drew a blanket the morgue as well. What are you thinking? You agreeing with her husband something happened? She just split? I don't know. I'm... You know what's really strange about this one? Except for our habitual runaway kids, it's the first time I've ever looked for somebody who I actually met before we found them. You know what I mean? Just make it easier. You know what kind of person you're looking for. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I talked to her last week. She was trying to convince me that she was worried, that she was upset. But you know what? I didn't believe her. I mean, she was a nice lady and all, but it was like she had this plan and she had to keep trying to remember what it was. And when I talked to her husband, Mr. Newton, it was the same way. When I talked to him this morning, it's like all the words were right, but I don't know. Do you talk to Carlos? No, not today. Was he first his manager? Last week? Anytime. Hold on. I mean, he didn't mention any problem or anything. No. Robert? Johnson's in line four. Excuse me. Davidson. Yeah. Oh, man, you gotta be kidding. All right, I'll be right over. They fished a woman out of the lake. The description matched Peggy Newton to a T. They're transporting the body over to the morgue. If it's her, I gotta admit, I didn't expect this. Ever since two years ago when that little girl got killed, uh, they put up better fences. Kids are smart. They figure out how to get and I've seen them. You seen these kids? Oh, no, not them. Uh, just kids, you know, in general. Anybody else ever come through here? Uh, we get the usual collection of itinerants, vagrants, even a few old-fashioned hobos. Hobos? You mean like the guys that sneak on the trains, like in those old movies? I've seen them around now and then. Can always tell when they've been here. Part of my job is to keep the track clear. Oh, we leave the garbage around. Hey, we found two book bags. Ronnie Lincoln. Joe Keough. Anybody seen a basketball? Well, the bugs will take anything. I mean, they probably got the basketball. I don't think so. They wouldn't have left this. Lunch. No bum's gonna steal a basketball and leave a sandwich. They're playing with their basketballs, right? Doing some, uh... Dribbling. Yeah, dribbling and passing back and forth. Maybe one of them misses a pass and the ball bounces into one of these cars here. Climbed in after, gets stuck inside. But I hope to goodness they didn't. These are grain cars. Ooh, what do you like, wheat and corn and stuff? Yeah, it's just like quicksand. You get on top of it, it swallows you right up. Whole grains, you got a chance. But brown grain, well, you're not looking for kids. You're looking for bodies. Sergeant! We think they might have climbed up inside one of these hopper cars here. We need to start searching. Hey, hey, these ain't the cars that were here this morning. We've been shutting cars around all day. Where are the cars that were here this morning? Well, someone's got to know where they are. They wouldn't all have numbers on them if nobody cared where they were. Pete. Hey, Bobby. That's the one Johnson said you wanted to have a look at. Any jewelry on the body? Yeah, a ring and a watch, left hand. Someone didn't steal it yet. Let's have a look. Uh, we're only talking B sector of the yard, right? From 6.55 to about 8.50 this morning. In that vicinity, uh, at that time, we are mostly grain cars. The okay, number 6137, 8349, uh, 1862, we'll move to H sector. Cars uh, 1489, 4778 were also near there. They went to uh, St. Louis. Let's pray they're in H sector. We've located some of the cars. H sector, get over to H sector now. Can you make me a print of that? Yeah, no problem. 